Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Okay, so I'm so excited for this video because yesterday my cousin Caroline took me to the post office. So I went and checked my post office box and I had a bunch of packages from people that they had sent me for my birthday and all kinds. Of, I like kept on pulling out all these cards out of my post office box. I was like, oh my God. Um, there are all these cards and so I like to get in video and show this because I think it's so nice um, For the people that send me stuff and don't ever feel like you have to send me anything I mean just watching my videos is really truly enough um, But I like to do this to, to show for the people that sent me something you know how much that means to me and um, First of all, I want to show you like and this is just from yesterday How I mean I can't even show you guys all of them hold on a second because this one has a person's name on it, okay? I mean I, I you guys, there's like literally like a hundred cards here, okay? And they were so nice, and there were so many people that sent me little things inside of them. I, I received actually quite a few like gift cards and stuff, some Uber gift cards, which was really cool um, for me for taking Ubers now, and Starbucks gift cards and stuff like that. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. I mean, this was so fun, and I sat down yesterday. I was actually watching Jaws 3 3D, which takes place in SeaWorld. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. Here, I should, this should be my thumbnail. And um, I was sitting here and I just, and Boo Radley was sitting right back there. First he was here and then he moved back here. And I just read like one card after another and I read every single card, every single letter. So if you sent me something, I have read everything that you sent. So thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Okay, that's the first thing I wanted to show. The, uh, I don't really know where to go from here. Well, this one really got me teary-eyed when I opened it. And so it's this pink package. I have all this stuff like down here at my feet. So it was this pink package and inside of it, you guys are gonna be, you're gonna die, is <clears throat> this wooden painting. If you see like up close, it's really cool. And it has like all these different hearts and different colors on it and it's a little tucker. It's a little tucker with his tongue out. Isn't that so sweet? And um, so, <clears throat> This is from Jalissa. Jalissa uh, sent me this card, which was absolutely beautiful. And um, she said that this was from Kitty and um, Emma and uh, you, and Lou. And so this is from Kitty and Emma and Lou. And um, that she was asked to do this painting. So this is from, I guess, Julissa, Kitty, and Lou. And I just want to say thank you so much. We're going to find a special place to put it. Um, we kind of have like all the pee-pee pictures together and all of the Tucker pictures together. And so it just, this really meant a lot to me. And so I want to say thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Um, okay. And I love it. Alex, it was funny because Alex, I went to go get up the stuff from um, the post office box yesterday. And he knew that. And when he came home, he said, did you get the painting? So he must, y'all must be telling Alex the secrets. And so I don't find out about them till later. <laughs> Okay, the next thing um, was from Joyce, and I love when people send me things to review. Um, so, <laughs> uh, Joyce sent me, I was going to tell a little story, but I, I'll save that for another video. Joyce sent me these different cotton candies, which I'm so excited about because I love cotton candy anyway. But she sent me pickle cotton candy, okay? And then she sent me buttered popcorn cotton candy, which I'm actually really excited. I might try these today because I kind of just want to eat them. I think they'll be so good. I mean, they are like 100 calories. Oh, there's two servings. So the whole thing is 200 calories. I can't see the rest because I don't have my reading glasses on. And the last one that she sent me is birthday cake cotton candy. Don't those sound so good? I think those sound so good. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you, Joyce, uh, for sending me those. It was really sweet. Okay. The next thing came, and I have to tell you, I was a little scared to open it, honestly. <laughs> it reminded me of, I don't know why, but it kind of cracked me up at first, but, um, cause it came like all in this like, you know, like a cardboard box and then I opened it and this is, uh, what it was looked like. Okay. When it came and the, um, and it, you could smell it cause there's like, can't, I'll explain. You'll see in just a second, but, um, there was like a letter in it. So I started reading the letter. And I thought it was going to say like, this is an old antique box that I found, you know, and it was going to be like one of those movies where it like releases spirits in your house or something. But no, it's so nicely put together and I actually want to like lay it out in the kitchen and like go through it. But I wanted to show you how it was sent to me. So I'm not going to take each individual thing out, but I will read you parts of the letter because it was so beautiful what was done. So here you go. This is what it looks like when you open it. And I've kind of like pulled some things out and looked through them and it's just amazing. Everything in here is just like so cool. And so hold on just a second. I love the glasses, first of all. Made with love for Peter. 
May this package make its way to you with care. It's been over a year of collecting dust, and finally it's time to share with you. Um, and it goes in and talks about, like, a uh, private stuff with her. Um, this box doesn't have a name, but I've shared one with several people who have impacted my life in one way or another, which I think is such a cool concept. Um, it's a collection of elements from the world around me and items intended for self-love, reflection, and or healing. Anything from the earth I promote to keep, uh, to either keep or return to the earth in ceremony with intentional thought. Please turn the lights on before exploring the box. Um, on. Okay. Included inside, Stellar Jay's Feather, a pine cone, one shell from Vancouver Island, one local poured candle, one essential roller stick, three incense sticks hand rolled from India, a handmade item, small pouch of hand packed items you carry these with you and give back to the earth for new items that speak to you, a bath of soap jar, Contains magnesium, eucalyptus, rose petals, and orange peel. The Four Agreements book, which you know I love. And photos from our life. And then she says in here, Also included sunglasses that were given to me by two local artists that feels more like your style than mine. I've tried um, having fun with them uh, during a photo shoot and I'm ready to pass them on. May this box bring you peace. May you feel the light that you shine onto others. May love surround you, your husband, your friends, and your family. And may you stay forever young, Bob Dylan. And I have to tell you, one of the things that was so bizarre about all of these gifts that I got was that in some way or another, they were very, very personal to me. Um, the song Forever Young was one of my mom's favorite songs of life by Bob Dylan. We played it at her funeral. And um, my dad's sailboat, that I've talked about this on my vlog a ton, my dad's sailboat when I was growing up was called the Forever Young. So it was so, I mean, when I read that letter, I started tearing up. So I am going to go through each of these and um, I am going to, uh, I thought I had her, I wrote her name on here at the top. Oh, darn it. Well, thank you to the partner of Rob. <laughs> she talks in here about her partner, Rob. Um, but anyway, so she, and she gives me a lot of personal information in here, but I just love this box so much, and I think it's so fantastic. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of my friends from high school and the way that they live their life now and, and how they believe in, like, you know, pers or, uh, you know, intentional meaning to what you do. And I'm a person that believes in intentions as well. So thank you so much for this box. I can't wait to explore it more in the kitchen. And I've kind of looked through, like, I saw the four agreements underneath that and things like that. So she's got, like, wood underneath it, like, p pussy. Did a very nice job putting this all together, so... I love it so much, so thank you. All right, the next uh, thing I'm gonna show, and actually, since I was just talking about this with my mom, I think I'm going to, she said I didn't have to show it on here. She was like, you can show it on a booktube video if you want, um, but I want to share this book with you that I was given by Rachel, and it's a book of poetry that she, I think she wrote, yes. Um, somebody sent me a book of poetry that their mom wrote, but I'll show that in just a second. So I opened this and it, I got the letter and the letter so that she wrote this book and if I want to show this poetry book and if I want to show it, um, on my booktube channel, I can or whatever. Cause often when people send me books, I don't get sent as many books. Like I used to get sent like prom promotional books because I was posting all the time on my booktube channel. But that doesn't happen as much anymore. But she sent me this, uh, this poetry book, and I started reading through it, and I love it. And what's so interesting about it is the title of the book. And the title of the book is Who Shall Know My Soul? Now, I just talked about this on my vlog the other day, and I don't know if Rachel knows this or not. Um, and I've shared it several other times in my vlog. But when my mom's best friend ever in her life, Diane, that was a couple years, uh, two years, I think she was a year younger or two years younger with her, her high school friend. They were friends their entire life. And um, when Diane passed away, I came over here and I saw my mom. And my mom was sitting on the couch right over there. There's no couch there anymore, but there was back then. And I said, are you okay? And she said, who now shall know my soul? And I don't know if that's like a famous quote or something like that. And maybe my mom knew that. But when I opened this, I was like, just, I mean, it like, I had just talked about it on my vlog. And I was like, oh my God, this is like so strange. So Rachel, thank you so much. Your book is beautiful. I love it. <clears throat> All right, the next thing, speaking of poetry books, let's just go right from this. This one is from Bunny. And Bunny sent me a very nice card, first of all, that has birds all over it that I love. And then she sent me this um, poetry book that her mother wrote. And her mother um, in inscribed and said, uh, to Peter, with love and all best wishes, Beth, which I love when any author inscribes, or, uh, inscribes a book. Inscribes a book? 
What's the word I'm looking for? But anyway, the book is so beautiful, you guys. And it is called Love Songs to My Lord by Beth Ann Rogers. When you go through here, you can see that it's... It is just so pretty. I love it. It's such a, and it's like a, like would make a great like coffee table book as well. So, thank you for that. Okay, the next thing, you guys, I have to read you this whole letter because it cracks me up so much, okay? This was such a funny letter. I don't know why. And it was just like on this crumpled paper that was like stuck inside the gift. And let me show you the gift, okay? Hold on a second. Do you see? It's like, okay. Hi, Peter. And she says in here, shout out to her roommate. So I'm assuming that she doesn't care if I shout out to her too. Hi, Peter. My name is Carly, 22-year-old female, and I live in Portland, Oregon. I've been watching your videos since 2019. I am so sorry about the accident back in February, and I hope you are doing well. I apologize if my handwriting is difficult to read, um, but I have chronic pain, so writing is difficult. For the last month, this, you guys, I just have to tell you, I love this so much. This cracks me up. For the last month, my roommate, shout out to Barbara, <laughs> shout out Barbara, and I have been casually hiding chicks in our kitchen in random places for the other to find. When one of us finds one, we hide it in a new place for the other person. Each, each week, we've been getting more and more creative as potential hiding spots lessen, including now hiding them in the bathroom and laundry room. We are currently down to three chicks as one of them drowned when hiding in our landlord's espresso machine. I guess you could say the fourth chick is now hiding in the trash. These are brand new chicks in the package, not the actual chicks we use day to day. And so she sent you guys, I have to show you this, so cute. Now, here's another weird thing, and if you've ta heard this on my vlog, comment below. My mother used to give these to me every Easter, these little chicks, okay? Like tons of them on my Easter basket. And now Caroline puts them on the dinner table at Easter time. She like puts them in the little eggs and stuff like that. How cute are these, okay? I mean, I was like, oh my God, this is another like symbolic kind of weird gift from my mom. Okay, uh, these are brand new chicks in the package, not the actual chicks we use day to day. Since you have been um, going through a difficult period in your life and are spending more time in your home, I thought it would be a fun little game. Okay, Alex will never do this game, just so you know. I thought it would be a fun little game idea you and Alex could play together. Of course, you don't have to hide the, vi the chicks at all. But I just thought I would share the idea. I actually am thinking about one of my neighbors I went to it with. Love, Carly. P.S. My roommate Barbara and I humbly consider ourselves platinum level <laughs> chick hiding experts um, at the point minus fourth chick, R.I.P. fourth chick. If you decide to use the chicks and want hiding spot ideas, do not hesitate to ask. I love this so much. Like, this just like, it's, I don't know, this is how I think. Like if you if you wanted to know exactly like how I think of the world, like this is what I think of, this is how I think on a daily basis. Carly, you get me. Okay, so, and Barbara, you too. So thank you so much, I love that. Okay, woo, what's the next thing? Let's pull up. Oh. I had all of this stuff put <clears throat> nicely away so that I would have all of the letters. Okay, well let's go with this next. So I received this beautiful tumbler that is self-made. Um, oh my God, by April. And it says, be too much on it. She made it herself. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. So thank you, April, for that. I'm trying to kind of clean up as I go a little bit. Okay. Um, oh, this is the next thing. I had to put it together very delicately. This is really cool. A lot of people send me stuff from like their, oh wait, no, that's not it. Okay, that's part of the bigger package. Where is the letter? I had it all together so that when I, okay. Woo, it's hot in here, okay. Dear Peter, I'll keep this short and sweet, and it goes on and talks about, like, she could bring some uh, personal things to me, and says the things that they've included. Uh, this is from Anastasia. 
uh, a cult, a certified cult member. That's from the vlog, certified cult member. One coloring book, a couple of key rings, a pack of affirmation cards, some cute pencils, and a little pride badge. Now, I have to tell you, these things are so cute, but I actually think what I'm going to do, because I'm, start, I'm trying to kind of curate cards and gifts at home that like if I'm going to one of my friends sobriety birthdays I have like a card and like a gift that I can give them that I don't have to go to a store because it's hard for me to get out like at the last minute you guys these things are so incredible that I'm going to be keeping these in pristine order because my friends would love these so this one is like these affirmation sheets and they're on this kind of like really cool parchment paper and it says like it takes time you can your identity is valid. You are safe. It's you are allowed to feel. I am proud of you. It's all of these like uh, just little affirmations that I absolutely love. And then she sent me this coloring book. Look at this amazing coloring book. It says things like maybe today is not so great, but tomorrow is a new day. And maybe, 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 maybe it will be better. Full of magic or maybe just more okay than today. And I love this. And there's all kinds of stuff. You deserve, you deserve your own, what does it say? Love, you deserve your own love. And it's like a, kind of looks like a stained glass window. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here. And then it's like the moon in the back. So I love that. Um, but most importantly, what I want to show you out of all of this, she sent me little pencils, are the keychains because they are so fantastic. My friends would love these keychains, okay? So they're just these little keychains that look like, I don't know really how to think about, like back in the business days, you would have like name tags, you know? And this one says, always hopeless, sometimes romantic. I love that. And this one says, taking each day, hour, minute as it comes. Now I think I'm gonna keep this one for myself because um, I love that saying, but aren't those the coolest things? And I will link Anastasia's store underneath <clears throat> where you can find any of that stuff, so. Thank you, Anastasia, for that. Okay. The next one is from Karen. And Karen just sent me something. I was just talking about, when I opened this, I was like, oh my God, I just, oh, she sent me the fan. Karen sent me the neck fan that I reviewed on my review channel. So Karen sent me this thing and she said, uh, happy birthday, Lena, from Muggy Miami. Sorry it's so messy. I have so much K-beauty. I put some in for a spa night. And then she says all this stuff that she sent me. And you guys, she sent me so many, like, beauty products. She sent me masks to use, Lunar Beauty lip glosses, which y'all know I love, and she just sent me all kinds of stink. This is so nice. What is this one? I don't know what this one is. 100% natural soy, oh my, scent a candle with wooden wick. Let's just pull that right out right now. It's wrapped so tight that I can't smell it. Oh, that is, that's like a spa. That is fantastic. I'm going to put that right over there. So thank you, Karen. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Um, you guys, this is so funny. So if you watch my vlog, you know that I have been like sitting on the front porch, watching the birds, wondering where the birds sleep and live and how long do they live. And I was going to make little, you know, PJs and sleeping bags and popcorn for them. And Boo Radley and I were going to have a movie night. I love the birds and all that kind of stuff. So I've been wanting to go and get a book about birds, right? Just finding out more about birds and all that kind of stuff. And um, I actually ordered this bird buddy thing that you're supposed to, it has like a camera in it and it takes like videos. And they send out these monthly updates. It's been like two years I bought this thing on a Kickstart, whatever. <clears throat> and I'm starting to feel like, I don't want to say it's a scam because the last update said they sent out like the first round of the US model. So I don't know, maybe I'll be getting mine soon. But that's my interest in birds and squirrels. And I used to do it on the back patio, but now I do it like on the front porch. So I've been thinking like one Sunday after we go to brunch, like maybe Alex and I could go over to Barnes and Noble and I look at books on birds, but I'm usually so tired. I just <laughs> nap central at that point. So let me tell you, I was so excited, okay? When Mandy sent me this book called What It's Like to Be a Bird by David Allen Sibley. And it has all of this information in here. You guys, I'm so excited about it. And I'm gonna sit out on the front porch and I'm gonna read this book and I'm gonna find out all about birds. I'm gonna start a seventh YouTube channel called Peter and His Birds. <laughs> no, seriously, I am though. Okay, um, so thank you so much, Mandy. I love that, so cool. All right.
And last and finally, oh, this is really nice. And I, there's no um, card or order thing. The order thing in here doesn't say a name on it. So I have absolutely no idea who sent this to me. And this is totally me, you guys. I love this so much. They sent me a Ralph Lauren uh, t-shirt, which I'm gonna keep in the package because I want it to stay nice. And it's a uh, classic fit, and they gave me two, a 2XL, which I'm kind of between a 2XL and an extra large right now, so this is like the perfect fit. But then they also got me, and I've wanted to buy these and I haven't, they uh, got me the tie-dye matching socks to go with the shirt. I was so excited. So please like email me or comment below that you were the one that sent this to me and let me know because I feel so bad that there's literally like, there's no note or anything in the box saying who it was from. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. And that was, it's all of it. So anyway, um, and that was fantastic. And you guys really made my birthday special. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.